Hey guys, this is Fallen from OTB coming at you with a brand new concept here for the OTB Gaming YouTube channel. I want to name this segment Unorthodox, and the meaning of Unorthodox here in Clan Wars is using an attack comp that you bend to fit a certain base that and it just happens to call for what what you want to use they've got all these attack comps out the you know the go hose with whatever variation of hogs you decide to use they got go wipe go wee wee uh la loon go la loon all these different variations of attacks that do see success here in clan wars uh but some of them are stuck to a same staple and you're forced to use the same exact troop count uh, for every base, and it shouldn't be like that. It definitely should not. And um, so let's take a quick look. For this whole concept, this is going to be a short video, I promise you. The next one's going to be long. But um, here as we check out our Warlog, we had just an epic win here. Everyone was doing amazing and uh, some really good stuff. But I really want to show the attack that I did so I can kind of prove to everyone what I was thinking on the on this attack and uh, the you know exactly the troops that I brought in the whole point because I just really planned the hell out of this thing so I wanted to show you guys what I was thinking maybe it can help uh, inspire or teach you what and or what not to do I don't know for whatever the reason so this was kind of a mix of a I love that Govalo uh, using those redheads um, the Valkyries and uh, I did kind of a mixture of a La Loon and a Govalo attack with one Golem in the CC there. And uh, one Hound, really, for that top air defense. Now, this base is set up. Um, I think what your typical person is going to do, who's who's got a brain for it, is they're going to bring maybe a Go Wee Wee. Uh, probably a Go Wee Wee here from bottom. Try and take out those three air defenses and hope to just work their way across middle and kill that third one. Uh, and then back end loons would be the option. Um, but I kind of saw this as the chance that uh, that's not going to quite happen that way. Uh, that air D is so far up there that it would be detrimental if I were to screw up with uh, any of the, I don't know, just the way that the troops were going or whatever. And it would be a waste of loons if it came down to it. Uh, so I, what I wanted to do here is... I'm thinking of getting this golem sent in straight from the bottom because, you know, right to the core of where those three ARDs are. Uh, I knew that I'd be able to break into that bottom compartment where the uh, the wizard tower is. And I wanted to break in there, throw a jump up, and get... Um, you know, the purpose of bringing the witches uh, was because that CC is really deep. It's going to be a tough one to pull unless you want to sacrifice a, a quite a big amount of uh, troop space to be able to get it. Didn't want to deal with that because obviously I needed all the troops that I possibly could. So uh, the purpose of this is is if you're doing a Govalo, which is with Valkyries, uh, you know, Golems and Wizards, um, those Valkyries are going to die if you do not pull the CC and there happens to be a balloon in there. Your Velks are going to go down very quickly, as we have learned before, quite very much so the hard way. And so my theory still is to use the Valkyries as a form of tanking in the middle, the same way that a Go Wee Wee would have uh, skeletons going in front of the witches. Uh, but because that clan castle was so far in, uh, my strategy was there's no better distraction than the skeletons from the from the witches. And I knew I needed more than two in case they went kind of crazy directions or just to get a substantial amount of skeletons out in the front there. And then the Velks would be coming in to do all the dirty work and just um, mass, uh, you know, mass genocide there, uh, all the way up to the clan castle. That was the goal: is to make it to the clan castle, and then their job would be complete, which we found out that they ended up doing so. Um, now here, you know, you notice that the the defenses are pretty, quite th8 defenses. Uh, I definitely had this in mind and and I knew that it was going to still be kind of an easier attack so I decided to have fun with this concept and and see what would work so now as we as I've talked it out here we got golems going up straight from the bottom uh, really trying to bring that core group and then the funneling would be the issues uh, the issue for the Valkyries um, funneling is everything even if it means sacrificing troops to make Valkyries work so I decided to bring three giants to be able to since I've only got one golem going up the middle uh, I knew I was gonna send two giants to the right archer tower on the very bottom right 
uh, and then I'd be sending one to the bottom left uh, where the um, where the mortar would be sitting there and it would be tanking just that one archer tower. So I knew I could get up my wizards to get the pathing completely straightforward, even if it meant sacrificing most of those wizards just to get the Velks in there to do their job. That's the whole point of the attack. Um, once I had that going, I knew my jump would go up, everything would jump forward, get into the middle, deal with the queen, you know, obviously kill the CC. I did bring a poison, uh, of which ended up uh, getting absolutely, uh, being completely useless. I should have brought a, a haste spell. How cool would that have been to bring a haste on this crazy ass attack? And uh, anyways, with everything spoken for up to the 50% mark of that base through the whole bottom half, um, then I would decide to um, deal with those expos and that final air D by calling in that uh, that lava from the right side to kind of tank a little bit as balloons are then kind of fitting into their place uh, to hopefully work. My goal was to destroy those outside defenses. Uh, so that kind of worked out uh, perfectly actually and have that lava to tank while the while the balloons were able to do so and get in there. So anyways, you guys, this is unorthodox attack number one let's do this thing all right I'm gonna start out just sending those golems in or that one golem in I think to the bottom right because I did want to get um, the left side of the archer tower or the uh, the wizard tower I wanted to be able to break in uh, to the left side because it was gonna be a little bit better of an angle for me so I made sure and deleted any kind of issue that those that they'd be having. So here we go. A couple giants there on the front. Did lose a wizard, unfortunately sent it in a little too early. Um, but just a couple wizards and then on the left side as well got a minion up there to help correct the pathing. Just one one single giant is tanking the, uh, the archer tower which is perfect. And uh, here we go. Just a few. Here come the heroes. The king does end up going to the left. I figured he would uh, in a way, I feel like it might have helped me, but I was okay with that. So here come the witches, more so to distract. I, I knew that that jump was going to happen right there and, and move them forward. And Velk's right behind where all those skeletons are. So the CC's busy with the skeleton or the, the skeletons, right? And uh, as the redheads come in there and just chew everything up. Um, heroes are behind doing their work. King got absolutely confused, but let's just let's just forget about that and the Velks are kind of working their way in these compartments and look at the Velks tanking right now while the witches are still uh, alive uh, they're using that jump spell to work into each kind of corridor here and the Queen is right where I need the Queen to be so here comes the up top there it's getting all ahead of me and the loons to be behind it there and the loons kind of clump there together which is really bad because then they kind of moved down but I still knew that I had enough to kill all those outside defenses and I wasn't stressing too hard about it uh, I wasn't even bummed out about uh, that air D going down uh, or up because I knew it would just die no matter what and um, you know slowly but surely we've got a queen here who's got plenty of health you know plenty of everything and then a kill squad going around the outside as everything works around the outside, I knew, and this is why I like the redheads, they're super tanky. They're going to be able to, even if they do go around the outside, they're going to be able to tank, um, you know, it's a small amount of defenses for, for some time, where sometimes witches end up uh, running out of skeletons and the defensive structures catch up to them. So here's the queen banging away until there's one last hit on that wall, and then she's going to decide to move. She loves it. Okay, Queen, you're too cool. All right, keep moving. Um, King's going to be able to get through that wall. He's strong enough, and there are Velks as well there to help out and tank. And there's just absolutely no pressure here on this attack. Uh, you know, with the defenses down pretty far, that's that's one thing. Uh, you know, they're not the most upgraded. Uh, those walls are definitely pretty good. Um, but here is an attack that uh, is a hybrid of really three different attacks. And um, I was super happy to be able to use it. It was an idea that I got before the war even started. And I wasn't sure how to make it work. But I, I really think that uh, any single base could be... Um, let's get back so we can see everything here. Any single base, you can bring your own custom comp to. Um, there are certain rules as far as following the correct steps to getting it done the right way. 
but uh, but as long as you do those steps, uh, you know, really you can make shift your own strategies. And in this case, it was I knew exactly what to do with the with the bottom left and right, um, with just a couple giants to be able to tank. Uh, well, the wizards were setting the pathing and everything like that. Uh, it, it was just super easy because I planned it out and it happened to have worked really well. And when it came time for that back end, um, the Lava Hound just kept the ARDs busy enough so they could kill those outside structures, which, you know, any attack with back end loons is going to have that purpose. And I knew I could only use one golem and I would be okay. If I just use one golem on the whole attack coming in from bottom, I knew that the Velks were going to tank. And so that was the plan for everything. I was able to get an extra hound out of it and uh, to sit there and tank those air D's or else they would just be uh, that single air D would be ripping up those balloons uh, bit by bit and the pathing would have been horrible uh, for them to deal with that air D so um, and, and I would have needed more loons even to, to get the job done right there but anyways um, it, the attack totally worked I, uh, I, I look forward to seeing people trying attacks like that we had an awesome war a significant amount of three stars here um, Let's see, 14 out of 20 bases were 3 star. They did have two TH10s. Uh, look at that lack of 1 stars. Now I know it shows up a little bit differently. There were really a few 1 stars, but this is what we're working on. And that's so cool, making use of our, of our cleanup attacks, uh, keeping above 90% on destruction. Uh, you know, being useful to the to the highest extent is what it's all about, honestly. Uh, all right, guys, this has been a long enough video for one attack. Um, coming up next, where I think we're gonna have some cool showcase attacks, and um, we're gonna have a special event planned for everyone that I'm gonna keep a secret. Probably will come out here next week, and it's gonna be an awesome opportunity for us to, uh, uh, well, try something new. Is what I'm thinking. Uh, so anyways, you guys, this is Unorthodox Episode 1. Can't wait to get some more of these. Uh, hopefully we won't have to do a fail edition, uh, though I have a feeling it's going to happen. Um, of these Unorthodox attacks, uh, absolutely not working out the way we wanted them to. Anyways, you guys, we're going to get going here. Take it easy, and uh, this is Fallen from OTB, only the best, signing off.